What's up, Mitten Squad? My name is Paul, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be going over six things that were cut from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Number six. There were a bunch of weapons that were at one point intended to make it into the final version of Modern Warfare 2, but they were cut from the game for unknown reasons. Some of these weapons include the Remington 870, which only has a texture sheet still in the game files, the MP44, a leftover from the original Modern Warfare, it has a create a class icon and some images of the weapon are still in the game's files. The G36C has a texture sheet in the game's files as well as a HUD icon, the textures for the Modern Warfare 1 version of its red dot sight, and a create a class icon as well. Other cut weapons include the M60E4 light machine gun, M40A3 sniper rifle, G3 assault rifle, Golden Desert Eagle handgun, R700 sniper rifle, M249 saw light machine gun, and the MP5 submachine gun. Number 5. If you've played Modern Warfare 2's campaign or Modern Warfare 3's multiplayer, you should at least be vaguely familiar with the MH6 Little Bird. In Modern Warfare 2, it's the helicopter that drops off your care packages. Code and sound files in the game indicate that at one point, the MH6 Little Bird was going to be a kill streak that you could get. You'd be able to fly around in the helicopter and shoot people using javelin missiles and a minigun that were equipped on the Little Bird. Modders have even gotten the kill streak to partially work, though it's not perfect. Number 4. Like with the weapons, there were many maps that were going to be in the game at one point. Most of the known maps that are cut were just names, meaning that they were cut pretty early on in development. However, a few maps do have descriptions to give you an idea of what they'd be like. Here are a few. Gridiron, open launch pad, huge sight lines, and dangerous maneuvering. Galug, nighttime jail fight, large scale Russian prison fighting. Downpour, big rainy Russian farm, excellent for sabotage matches. Plaza, a planned campaign mission and multiplayer map that were scrapped, along with any mentions of its ultra-nationalist invasion of the West Coast. Number 3. Everyone loves trains, and there was going to be a rideable train in a multiplayer map in Modern Warfare 2. Why it was cut isn't known. It likely would have taken the player from one side of the map to the other. The screens of people near the train would shake when the train went by. It would make its ride once every 2-3 to three minutes. All that's in the game is some scripts and a kill icon for the train, which was named the L Train. Number 2. Continuing with a list within a list, there are lots of perks that were cut from Modern Warfare 2, and a lot of them have descriptions so we have a good idea of what they do. There are over 20 cut perks, so I'll just go over some of the more interesting ones. Rear View. Minimap replaced with a rear view. Challenger. Easy death, but extra experience. Thermal Vision. Enemies glow white hot. Explosive Bullets. Bullets explode on impact. Primary Stand. Use any weapon in last stand. Number 1. There were a few game modes cut from Modern Warfare 2, but none of them are as interesting as DEFCON. DEFCON starts at 5 when the match begins, and as it goes down to 1, players start getting effects that would drastically affect the gameplay. At DEFCON 5 when the game starts, there are no effects and it's like a normal match. At DEFCON 4, all players will go into last stand prior to their death. DEFCON 3 has every player dealing extra damage with all weapons. DEFCON 2 effectively gives hardline to all players, making killstreaks require one less kill to obtain. Based on what we know about DEFCON 1, DEFCON would have likely been a round-based game mode, as at DEFCON 1, the players are eliminated from the round when they are killed, similar to Search and Destroy. Alright, that's gonna do it for this video about 6 cut things that were cut from Modern Warfare 2 that was a little weird. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions for any future top 10 video about any game or game character. Follow me on Twitter at Mitten Squad. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.